Hi guys, so we're looking at the anatomy of the dogfish shark. So let's begin. This is the radial muscle, also known as the, uh, the dorsal fin muscle, of course. And right below the radial muscle, you see more muscle. And this group of muscle right here is known as the apaxial muscle. Now within that apaxial muscle, you have these white lines going like this. Those are your mild septum, and with, between them you have your mild mirrors. Now, below the apaxial muscle, you have this line. It's called the lateral line, also called the horizontal septum right here. And you can actually see the line running across the entire shark, like so. Now, below the horizontal septum, you have your hypaxial muscle right here. And you can see the mild mirrors, the orange part. And the pinkish part is the mild septum, which obviously divides the mild mirrors. Now, let's take a look at another side of the shark. Here we have your pectoral fin muscles, also known as the abductor muscle, right here. And it's known as the abductor because when you go like this, when the fin goes like this, it's moving away from the midline, right here, the midline. So when the, muscle, the fin goes like this, it's moving away, hence the name abductor muscle. Now below the abductor muscle, we have the adductor muscle, and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right here. The adductor muscle is this muscle musculature right here. The name adductor muscle comes from the fact that when the shark's fin goes up, that is, when it goes towards the midline, it is ad adducting or flexing. So you have, again, your abductor muscle and your adductor muscle. Now let's take a look at the anatomy over here. Now, over here we have these gill filaments right here, and the pink is actually the blood capillaries, but we're gonna call this entire structure primary gill filaments. Now behind the primary gill filaments, you have the interbrachial uh, arch, if I'm correct, and that muscle is gonna provide support for the, gill, the primary gill filaments, which are these. These are the primary gill filaments, guys. And behind, you have the interbrachial arch. And now, we're going to look at the mandibular muscles. So, this is the abductor mandibulae. The abductor man man mandibulae is a very thick muscle, and it's, it's involved in the, the shark's uh, occlusion. So, when the shark is opening and closing the mouth, this muscle is the muscle that's responsible. Now, Next, we're going to have, finally, we're going to have the vertebrae body. So I'm going to show you what that, what that is. So here we have the, in the center, this circle right here, we have the vertebrae um, body. And then within it, we have the notochord. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a small structure, a small circle within the circle, the notochord. You have the remnant of the notochord, so to speak. And so... This red triangle looking like structure right here is the hemi arch, hemo arch. I'm sorry, hemo arch. This is the hemo arch, and it's red because blood flows through there. And now above the circle, we have the neuro arch. And the neuro arch, neuro, the name nerve, neuro, that's where that comes from. It's a triangular structure right here. All right. 